And now it is my pleasure to introduce uh, Representative Stephen Horsford, uh, member of the Homeland Security Committee and um, uh, another lead sponsor of H.R. 15. Thank you. It's good to be here with uh, Chairman Becetta and Vice Chairman Crowley, as well as the chair of the Congressional Asian, Asian Pacific Islander Caucus, uh, Judy Chu. And I want to highlight something that happened that really moved me personally. Uh, last week in my district, I held a hearing on immigration de detention and deportation. Congressman Gutierrez attended, as well as Congressman Hinojosa, the chairman of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus. One witness, Brian Rivera, told us his story. Brian's mom, Thelma Martinez Soto, came to the United States at age 25, looking for a better life and to start a family. She's never been in trouble. She's not ever even had a parking ticket. But her life was difficult. Brian told us that his father abused his mother while she was pregnant with him. Brian told us that my father has terrorized my mother's life. He was eventually convicted of domestic violence, and soon after she worked up the courage to leave him and focused raising me into a man. Thelma worked two jobs so that Brian could attend the Le Cordon Bleu School of Culinary Arts. Brian says he hopes to provide for his mother just as she does for him. Unfortunately, Brian's father recently re-entered his life and turned his mother into ice to prevent her from demanding he pay child support. He told Brian, remember your mother's an illegal immigrant and I can get rid of her. And that's just what he did. Because our system is backwards and broken, his mother was detained and Brian was left to fend for himself. His mother, who was the victim of domestic violence, became the victim of a broken system. Just think about that for a moment. A loving mother raising her son, who has been through hell to provide for him the best that she possibly can, was detained at the hands of her abuser. It is perverse, it is disgusting, and it's absolutely heartbreaking and what's wrong with our current immigration system. Brian's mother was detained for nearly four weeks until last Tuesday. Brian came to our hearing and told us his story. Fortunately, we were there to help, and his mother was released. After the hearing, Brian spoke with Congressman Gutierrez, Congressman Hinojosa, and myself. And working with Congressman Gutierrez and his staff, we contacted ICE. She was released on an order of supervision so that she can prepare her case to seek legal status in the United States. We're going to help Thelma and find asylum through a visa for victims of, of abuse. Now, while this is a victory for this one family, we have Brian's mom and moms like Thelma all over this country. His story is the story of thousands, so many who live in the shadows, who are afraid of the law that is supposed to protect them. And when you live in the shadows, it's lawless. You are at the mercy of others, and if they are abusive, there's very little that you can do with confidence that you or your family will be okay. So it feels like you're not safe and that you have no peace of mind. And this is why we need to fix our immigration system, not only for dreamers, but for their parents. The United States should not be in the business of separating families. So Speaker Boehner, we've asked you to bring up H.R. 15 for a vote. We will move forward with the discharge petition because one person should not stand in the way of the will of the majority of the American people. We have the votes. Now we just need a vote. And as my colleagues have stated, the recently released CBO report confirms that if you don't want to do this because it's the right thing to keep families together, like Brian and Thelma, then do it because it will help reduce our deficit by $900 billion over the next two decades, including $200 billion in the first decade alone. It's time to demand a vote. Speaker Boehner, we want a vote. It's time to pass comprehensive immigration reform now for the families who desperately need it. Thank you. Mr. Chairman, I'll just to uh, follow up to say 
you, you're absolutely right to say that the House Republicans can use that as a reason. It's actually using it as an excuse. Doing nothing, passing no comprehensive immigration reform uh, does nothing to strengthen and secure our borders. It does nothing to address our workforce needs at a time when the private sector is asking for uh, reforms to our workforce visa program. It does nothing to address the deficit, which the CBO report says HR 15 reduces the deficit by $200 billion in a decade. And it does nothing to keep families together. And you know what's frustrating? So many times we sit on the floor and we listen to our, other, our colleagues on the other side of the aisle talk about family values and what uh, Congress should be doing to preserve family values. What is more fundamental than a family value that keeps families like Brian and Thelma together? By doing nothing, they're tearing families apart. They are co-conspirators in tearing families apart. And that is why Speaker Boehner, as one person, can choose to decide to bring H.R. 15 or any other version of a comprehensive immigration reform bill to the floor so that we can give the majority of Americans what they want, a vote on immigration reform. To do nothing is actually to contribute to the problem, and House Republicans uh, will have made it worse for families, not better.